What is going on you guys, AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. Today we're going to talk about the fees associated when you're withdrawing your BTC from either NiceHash mining platform or Coinbase trading platform. Alrighty boys, we're going to go ahead and put the $70 from my nice hash miner, I haven't dumped it out in a few days here, into my hard wallet, which is a Ledger Nano S. I have reviewed that device on this channel. I stand behind it. It is very, very nice, and that is linked in the description below. So, there are two different ways that I can get it to here. I did make a tutorial about a month ago showing you how to transfer directly from nice hash to a hard wallet by entering the uh, deposit address or going through Coinbase first and then going to your, whoops a daisy and then going from Coinbase to your hard wallet. However, I wanna go over the fees that you incur with each one of these methods here and which one's a better option, especially if you're gonna be buying and holding BTC for the long term, or if you just want to immediately take whatever you've mined over the last month or whatever and uh, get that cashed out for you. So if you do just wanna take your profits and run, so every you know three weeks to a month, you wanna take whatever you've mined, your best bet is to just withdraw to Coinbase now, when you withdraw to Coinbase, let's hit use max over here. There is zero fees when you're transferring from NiceHash to Coinbase. As you can see, I'm getting $70.27, which is the entirety of my total assets that I have right now in my miner software. However, over here in Coinbase, once you actually withdraw those funds and convert it from your BTC into legacy currency, so whatever uh, local currency you use, for me it's US dollars, then you will incur a fee. So no matter how you play this, you're gonna end up paying some fees, uh, whether you go from nice hash to Coinbase and then to US dollars and then to your bank, or you just go directly to a hard wallet and then from your hard wallet, when you're ready to cash out, you go to Coinbase and withdraw it. Uh, so basically you cannot withdraw cash from nice hash period. You have to go through Coinbase or another um, another platform. Now, Coinbase isn't the only one. There's uh, you know pay year and brokerages or platforms where you can exchange cryptocurrency however coinbase is the largest and most trusted so that's that's what i recommend there is also a link to nice hash and coinbase down there in the description below the coinbase link actually gets you a little bit of free btc when you make your uh, initial deposit so that's really nice if you're already planning on putting some money into bitcoin which i do strongly recommend as the current price is 57,169 US dollars and pretty much grows by the day. It fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you look at the long-term growth, but I mean, if you look at the long-term growth, she's uh she's definitely rising. But if I go to withdrawal two, let's go ahead and add a new address and we're gonna go ahead and paste in the deposit address that I got out of my uh, ledger software if you have a trezor hard wallet device you'll have a similar application where you're able to send and receive cryptocurrency now i can show you guys this key here that's i'm not blurring it out for a reason this is a public access key and once i make this transaction this will no longer be valid however all you could really do with this anyway is send me some bitcoin so that's nice that isn't my private key to access my funds inside my cold storage wallet this is just a local uh, or i'm sorry a uh, public deposit key and then address name, we'll just call that, you know, whatever, March 21. I understand that if this address is correct, the funds will permanently be lost. So you want to make sure that this is correct down to the, the very character. Now, I have a two-factor two authentication application on my phone, which is an encrypted application called Google Authenticator, which gives you um, a six-digit code that refreshes every 60 seconds. And that is what I strongly recommend, Vice using something like traditional SMS or text message, which is much more vulnerable and easier to being hacked. Okay, it says withdraw, ex uh, withdraw address already exists because I had entered this before and I never completed the transaction. So and over here, if I click use max, it's going to, it's going to again, transfer all the BTC that I currently have in my, in my wallet there. But as you see, I'm paying seven cents or 0 0.0000123 BTC. 123 BTC, uh, which is only seven cents to transfer from, to transfer $70.27 to my hard wallet, I'm getting $70.20 in my actual hard wallet. So very, very minimal fees, very, very light. It says processing time up to 24 hours. We've tested this in the tutorial video that I did previously, and it took honestly about uh, 16 to 20 minutes. So pretty quick. But again, that's just going to sit there in my hard wallet. I can't convert that to US dollars um, 
at all from, from there. However, if we come over here to Coinbase, if I go to, I think I have like 30 or $40 of Bitcoin right now. So if I hit, oh, my face is kind of in the way, isn't it? If I go to sell all over here, so this is actually selling my Bitcoin, which is $39.19 in BTC. I'm going to pay $1.99 and get a, uh, a total of $36.94. Which, as we can see, the difference between that, what I actually have in BTC, and what I'm actually going to get is not $1.99, it's $2.25, because not only are you paying the flat fee, but you're also paying a spread. So, I have this little article pulled up here. This will be linked in the description below. Uh, cite my sources so you guys can read this in its entirety and basically here's all the fees associated with coinbase coinbase we will store your us dollars in cryptocurrency at no cost to you well i should hope so i don't know of any brokerage of stocks bonds etfs reits mutual funds or cryptocurrency that charge you just to have your money sitting in the portfolio that's i, I would hope so we do not charge for transferring crypto between one coinbase wallet to another and like i mentioned earlier from nice hash to coinbase is also free Coinbase incurs, incurs and pays network transaction fees such as miner fees uh, for transactions on crypto networks, transfers of crypto off the Coinbase platform. So when you go to transfer to US dollars to get your cash, all fees will be charged. Uh, all fees charged will be disclosed at the time of your transaction. We charge a spread of about 50% of your, of your total transaction. So that's where that uh, extra 25 cents is coming from. And we also charge a fee in addition to the spread. And the fees are down here. If it's a $10, if it's a less than $10, if it's between 10 and 25, 25 and 50, and 50 and 200, then it will give you the breakdown uh, in US dollars, $3 right there. For example, if you're sending, if you're in the US and wish to purchase $100 of BTC and pay with a US bank account, that you have linked to Coinbase or your US your USD wallet, which is shown as another currency that you have available. It's like another wallet here in your Coinbase. Since the flat fee, which is the $3, is greater than the 1.5% of the total transaction. So they're going to charge you the highest possible amount, whether it's a percentage or their, their um, set flat fee. Whatever's higher, that's what they're going to charge you. If you want to purchase with a debit card, it's 4% since the variable per percentage is higher than the flat fee. So again, they're going to charge you the highest amount. Now down here, now down here, there's this little chart right here that breaks down if you're paying from a Coinbase US dollar wallet or a bank, it's 1.5%. If you're paying with a debit card or credit card, uh, it's going to be 4%. So what does all this mean? That means that I am paying more fees just withdrawing uh, $39 a Bitcoin than I am to transfer my BTC to a hard wallet directly from NiceHash. However, here's what I will say. If you're going to be buying and holding cryptocurrency for the long term, you want to put it in a cold storage wallet, an offline cold storage wallet, something like a Ledger or a Trezor. It's a lot. It's the safest means of storing your cryptocurrency. And also, cryptocurrency is kind of most valuable in the long term when you buy and hold. You can day and swing trade it as it is incredibly volatile, but the, the real value from Bitcoin comes in its long term growth. Now, this isn't financial advice or anything like that. Have to make that disclosure right there. But this is just my opinion and what I do. Um, I recommend for myself uh, I don't cash out the BTC right away. What I do is I put it in my cold storage wallet. I do incur a small fee trans transferring it from my nice hash to my cold storage wallet. And then another small fee when I send it to Coinbase. And then another fee, basically triple charged when I go to withdraw it. However, if you are just trying to immediately sell your funds, if you are just trying to immediately convert your funds into US, uh, US dollars so you can actually get a quick payout, then just transfer it directly to Coinbase and make your withdrawal, uh, transfer it from Bitcoin to cash. And you will incur fees there, of course, but that's how you're gonna actually get your funds out. And it will be direct deposited into your bank, which in the settings, you will link your bank account. That's actually one of the first things you are required to do when signing up for Coinbase is to link your bank account so you can send cash back and forth. So my final thoughts here, if you're gonna be holding cryptocurrency for the long term and you're mining it and you want to get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. Obviously, cryptocurrency is on the rise. And as long as you don't need that money immediately, 
I would just store it in like a offline cold storage wallet and then cash it in when it, it's gone up, you know, 15, 20% in a few months. But if you need those funds immediately, you're gonna transfer from NiceHash to Coinbase. I showed you all the fees associated with that and then withdraw from there. If you guys have any questions about what I've covered here today, drop them in the comment section below. I'm extremely active with the community here and I definitely answer all my comments daily. Subscribe for more crypto mining tutorials. I also do a lot of news in the gaming community and industry and tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. If you enjoyed the video, it was beneficial for you. Liking it helps it to get seen by more people, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.